points in a basketball game? Uh, high school, <laughs> senior year. Um, actually, my last game was 11 points. In, in high school, was yeah, it? in sectionals, yeah. So in the, in the first half, you guys pulled away there. You had a, your, all your 11 points were in that run. What were you feeling at that point, and what did it feel like to provide that kind of offensive spark in a game like this? Yeah, well, credit to these guys. You know, we attacked, um, and they just found me. I probably over, they probably overhelped a little bit because I mean I'm not a high volume shooter. Um, so it, I mean, just to knock those down was a great feeling. Just kind of give them a boost um, and get that 12 point lead uh, going into the second half. Andrew, did you have like a, a shift in mindset at all? Coach was talking the other day about wanting to get you shooting more because they're, they're going to let you shoot, like yeah. you just said. So did you take a different approach to this game? No, I actually saw that interview. And I, for him to answer those questions, it's like, all right, now I, I really got to start shooting. And my dad's always like, dude, just shoot the ball sometimes. So, um, but you know, I, like, I mean, Kata, JT, I try to get those guys the ball um, and try to be efficient with getting them the ball and putting them in the right positions. Um, but just tonight, I was open. And I was fortunate enough to knock them down. And you're. The one, the one off the glass that CJ tipped in, was that an intentional <laughs> assist off the glass? We're going to go with an assist. Yeah, we're, we're going to go with this. I should, yeah, that was just bad. That was a, that was a shot. That was a shot. It's just bad. Hey, JT, um, just to, I mean, you know, obviously he's coming this year, played a big part in what you guys have done. To, to see him put in an effort like this, and, you know, I know it's been hard, but to, to get the points, what's that like for you guys? I mean, we talked a lot about what you guys bring to the team. For, for Andrew, what's it like in your eyes? It's fun to see because we know he can shoot. I mean, in practice, he's one of the best shooters. But in the game that he played in the role, usually today, you know, they, like you said, they sagged off him a little too much and he made the shots he usually makes. Like, I'm not really surprised that he made those shots or did what he did. With Bob, it was about midway through the first half, and it was, a, I think you were down seven. Holtman called a timeout and seemed pretty animated in the timeout. What was he saying to you guys at that point, and what needed to change? Because then, obviously, it did pretty quickly. Um, well, uh, defensively, we just weren't um, playing up to the standards that we played. Um, we weren't um, guarding the ball screen. Uh, we weren't pressuring them. So, and I mean, that's one thing Coach Holtman is all about is defense. Um, our defense transitions to how well we play on offense. And, you know, I think that timeout, you know, we kind of, you know, got at us and we got it going. Well, was any of that a case of, you guys talked about being on guard and not be, get too high after such a good win on Sunday. Was that have anything to do with, with the start? Um, I wouldn't say that. Um, you know, I mean, sometimes you just need, uh, you know, coach to, you know, get on you and, you know, let you know. Sometimes out there you, you, know, you may not think you have another gear, but, you know, when coach sees on the sideline and see how hard we played in the past, um, you know, he can kick that, uh, that, that gear in. So I think that's all we needed was to, a kick in the butt to get us going. So, for any of you guys, you guys have won most of your, almost all of your Big Ten games by double digits and pretty significantly. Coach Holman said even he was surprised by how far ahead you guys were at this point in the year. Do you guys feel that way? Are you surprised by the success that you're having, or do you guys know beginning of the year you guys will be five and zero in the Big Ten? I think um, just because we're five and zero, I mean, I think it's all just been about our approach. Our approach every day in practice, our approach pregame, and you know, like um, we always say, like we were picked, you know, one of the last teams in the Big Ten, and you know, no matter if we we are five and zero, we're going to continue to play with that chip on our shoulder, um, and I, I think that's really been um, a key to our success, and you know, just being on a team where guys are so unselfish, and you know, we we enjoy playing with each other, and and, and just love each other on and off the court. I think that's. Those are the two big keys to why we are 5-0. and Deshaun, um, it seems like you guys are making a, a pretty good habit of getting a lead before the half, and then when the second half starts, like not letting them all the way back in it, which I know in the past those four, first four minutes have been problematic for you guys. Well, what's been the, the biggest key for you guys to kind of keep the pedal down at the start of second half? Um, like, um, like you just said, um, we just try to take it war by war, um, four minutes by four minutes, try to win as many four-minute wars as we can. And, you know, just being here for, you know, going into my fourth year and, you know, these two guys um, being on teams, they know how important uh, to st the start of the second half is. You, know, you can, you know, depending on how you come out, it can be a dog fight, it can be a grind, or, you know, you can, uh, you know, try to take, take teams out of their game. So uh, I think that's just been the, 
the mindset that we've had going in in the halftime. You know, just staying home, staying locked in, and you know, knowing that the first four minutes of the second half is, you know, the really the most important part. Uh, excuse me for any of y'all. Earlier in the year, um, Coach Holman stressed that uh, limiting turnovers was going to be something you wanted to improve on. Um, it seemed like you all routinely uh, 16 to 20 per game. Lately, you all have been a lot closer to single digits, oftentimes, like in this game, the passing has been really well. What's been the key to turning around those turnover numbers? We just work hard in practice a lot, like footwork, a lot of our turnovers or travels or little stuff like that. I work on that a lot in practice, so I think it's carrying over into the game. Like you said, the last few games, you haven't turned the ball over nearly as much as we did in the beginning of the season. Okay, you guys had. Um, 25 assists on 32 baskets. You know, Jay Sean, you had six, and CJ had six, Cam had five. So was it a matter of making shots, you know, because you were shooting the ball well at the end of those? What what was happening that this good ball movement, what uh, produced that? You know? I think just, you know, like I said, like we have a, a group of unselfish guys who, and Coach Peden does a, a good job in practice of, you know, making us make sure we're, we're taking the best shot available. Um, and also the way they were playing off of us, so, um, their defensive schemes, um, they were real gap oriented. So um, we were able to find, you know, shooters. And you know, luckily today, like I feel like nobody could miss. So um, I think that was that was a big part. And this is for any of you. I know that you guys said you were surprised at how fast <laughs> you guys have been turning it around here. Coach Holman wouldn't comment after the Michigan State game, but I didn't know if any of you guys have been talking. Has there been any chatter about this team has the capability of winning a Big Ten championship this year? No, and that's what makes us great. I think we understand the task at hand and we take every day. Um, personally, like we're just trying to get better. You know, this it's a long season. We've got five games. There's going to be ups and downs. And, you know, we've all been through, like us three have been through it. So we're just kind of, <laughs> Elaborating, telling the other guys that look, like there's gonna be runs where people go on um, in games. And how are we gonna come back from that? So that's kind of been the message. So we just, you know, we just try to take it day by day. Adam, last question: Did you guys watch any of the Rutgers Michigan State game the other night? And what sort of challenge do you guys think you have ahead of you now against a team that does a really good job of turning guys over? I mean, uh, I think everybody knows. I mean, Rutgers, in my opinion, is one of the toughest teams in the ten. Um, they're gonna play hard. They're gonna play hard the whole game. Um, they're very athletic. They got they got um, guys who can really go. And I mean, you seen that last night. Um, you know, we you know we celebrate this one tonight. But I mean, our preparation is gonna be key um, going into a, a, a pretty good Rutgers team. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.